Starship is designed to be the first fully reusable rocket large enough to get humans as far as the moon, Mars or beyond. Four, three, two. We have to its fourth test got off to a perfect start. And the first main objective was an undeniable success. The largest rocket booster ever built, separating flawlessly from Starship. Stage separation confirmed. Jettisoning a part implicated in its failure in previous tests before purposefully descending to Earth, 70 meters of steel, performing a pirouette meters above the Gulf of Mexico. And we have splashed down. SpaceX staff rejoiced at proof their rocket will next be able to land itself. A hundred miles up, Starship was in orbit. Now came the hardest bit, re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Where the last Starship burned up, this one sailed on at speeds of 17,000 miles an hour as the heat built up around it, its flaps controlling its descent. Only then did things start to go wrong, friction with the thickening atmosphere overwhelming the heat shielding and Starship's flaps started to melt. Looks like we got the flaps starting to come apart a little. It looked like it was all over, but incredibly, the crippled ship appeared to steer itself right until splashdown in the Indian Ocean. We know it came down, it was a bit wounded, there was a flap hanging off, but the, the real victory here is that they've got data through all that descent sequence. So all the way down through descent, when the ship is heating up, when the thermal protection tiles are starting to burn off, Elon Musk, here in green, the owner of SpaceX, declared the test a success. But the heat is on. He's got a nearly $3 billion contract with NASA to take astronauts to the moon on Starship as early as 2026. Not much time to prove it's flight worthy. Tom Clark, Sky News.